Um, it seems to me there's no end to this fiasco regarding Irish water, water charges and the government's handling of this issue. The Minister stated in the first line of his... Um, the Minister stated in the first line of his speech that this is a significant moment for this country. I presume he was referring to this so-called debate here and then proceeds to give the, opposi the opposition benches the two fingers and you walked out of the room. Um, and I think it's this arrogance, it's this arrogance and this lack of respect has been a key factor in the shambles. No, no, sorry, no, please. Look, no, Deputy Collins has the floor, please. No more interruptions. It is absolutely, and this is what's really getting to the core of the mood of the people out there. It's pure this arrogance and hypocrisy, that's what it is. This arrogance and the lack of respect for people has been the key factor in the shambles of this absolute mess the government has created on these issues. This sorry mess contrasts sharply with the magnificent people power movement by ordinary citizens of this state over recent months. The uplifting experience that hundreds of thousands of people have, have experienced on the 11th of October and the 1st of November. The first time they've had the confidence to come out onto the streets and say no, we are not paying for this austerity tax. You have been forced into, into a humiliating U-turn on every single issue in relation to the charges in Irish water, but it is not enough. You will see on December the 10th, you will see a mass movement of non-payment next year. That the people, that what the people want is a 180% U-turn on this issue. What the people want is the scrapping of these charges and a new strategy, a new investment plan to deliver fit for purpose water charges as an essential public service paid for by progressive taxation. I don't know whether you probably heard this Minister that about 20 minutes before your speech on one of the RTE radio afternoon shows there was a 10 minute opportunity given to, um, uh, to listeners to uh, text in whether they were going to pay for these charges, yes or no, um, and on the basis that people understood with the mental leaks that your government had put out uh, previous to this, I don't know why you won't need to go out and do a press conference. Um, but within that 10 minutes, 15,000 people texted, 71% said they will not be paying this tax, and 29% said yes, they will. That's the amount of information and, and determination of the people at the moment to say we don't want this. So it's not that we're saying you're not listening. The people are saying to you you're not listening. And that's the difference here. We tried to bring that into this, into this chamber <laughs> um, over the last number of months and you just haven't listened. You have you have um, seen the anger of the people, you have seen the determination to reject the water charges and a blueprint for privatisation. This mass movement of citizens has frightened the life out of you and you have responded by trying to split this movement. That is what the measures are, uh, are meant to do. Firstly, we had a pathetic attempt by the leader of the Labour Party um, to portray the protests against metering in their states by ordinary citizens as not genuine um, a, a, a protests and they were organised by outsiders, which was absolutely untrue. We had a situation, I think the point that Deputy um, uh, Wallace said, in a Cambrasil Close, a small little estate of 24 houses off Cambrasil Street, where Irish Water and GMCC area came in to, um, to uh, put in water meters. 21 guards came in with that crew of 24 houses. 21 guards. How was that going to affect the, the way people were going to react in that little cul-de-sac to see 21 guards come into their state where they didn't want the water meters? And that's a provocation. And after three days, the inspector said, I'm not putting up with this. I'm going to write to the guard or commissioner and say, unless I have more people, more guards in here, double the amount, um, I'm not coming in here again because I'm not going to put people, either the workers or the um, citizens and the people in that uh, area uh, in jeopardy. Um, the set of concessions outlined today are aimed at splitting the opposition. Um, it is a tactic uh, to sit it out, get people used to paying, get the general election out of the way and then come back to the real strategy in 2019 of full recovery. It will not work. The people don't trust you and it's not just this government, it's the entire political establishment. And you have, really have to get this message because there's a serious development in, the, in our communities. And the establishment which has let them down 
They don't trust on the cost, they don't trust on the issue of privatisation. That is why I'll be working for the maximum turnout on December the 10th. I'll be working to convince people that mass non-registration and non-payment will defeat these charges and that defeating the concept of turning a public service into commercial contract is the only secure guarantee against future privatisation. The last point I want to make relates to water con con conservation. The minister, minister in his speech said he was tired of those de uh, declaring that they, they would fix the leaks before meeting. I think the point again that Deputy Wallace made is very, very uh, poignant. And what did you have to do up to now? I don't have a water meter. I'll have to fix my leaks if I get a leak in, in, in the system. And that's what you'll have to do, and that's what many people have to do. And um, I'm sure the Minister is aware, is aware of a programme underway in Cork where the local authority are installing district meters as a way of monitoring water flow and detecting leaks. leaks. Such a programme of district water meters could be implemented nationally at a fraction of the cost of the 530 million um, Irish water meter programme. Thank you, Deputy.